just in time for Halloween, this is another episode of Heavy Metal Garage, and it's all about the candy and the lace. <laughs> nice spider web. We're going to put this on here, spray some silver base, and see what's going on. As you can see, we already have the tape already all over the whole roof of the car. Episode 1 will show you what to do with that. So I went ahead, taped this up. Now we're going to spread out the lace. We'll see what it looks like. You want to take down all the edges of the lace, make sure it's stretched out all corners. Now we got our lace all stretched out, taped down really good. Now we're ready to shoot some paint. Now when you shoot your paint, when you're doing some lace work, you want to make sure your air pressure is at a minimum. You do, do not want to try and cover the whole roof. You want to mist it on there to give it that effect because what the lace is covering underneath is what we want exposed. So when you spray your, your paint, make sure that you give a nice even coat all the way from one end to the other. Check it out. spray some base on here. We're going to go ahead and let it sit for a little while. Peel that lace off. Check it out. All right, the next step we're going to do, we're going to peel this lace off. Check out the web design we got underneath here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Almost makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? Now we got the uh, spider web all painted out. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some uh, silver flake over the whole roof. That way it gives it more pizzazz. Now when you uh, shoot your flake, you wanna make sure that you're at a good distance to where your flake lays out nice and smooth. You wanna make sure that the layers of your flake continue the same from one end to the other, just like we did on the spider web. That way you have no spotting or no streaking within the flake. Um, make sure your air pressure is just right and make sure that your gun is clean and uh, you're good to go.
All right, we got our flake down. Looks super, super awesome. Next up, we're gonna choose candy. And I think we're gonna go with an Oriental Blue. Yeah. All right, we got our flake shot. And it looks mighty awesome. Next step, we're gonna shoot our candy. Because of course you gotta have a little candy at Halloween. So, the thing that you wanna do when you're shooting your candy, you wanna make sure first it's mixed right. You wanna make sure it's reduced right. You wanna make sure the hardness right. You wanna make sure everything is just right, measured out. When you're shooting your candy, get about a minimal to medium air pressure. What you wanna do is you wanna go back I'd say about mm, a foot and a half. Make sure that your, your flow, your pattern, goes from one end to the other. And each time you layer a layer of candy, it gets darker and darker. So you wanna make sure that your patterns are overlapping the same on each direction, on each end, and the number of layers that you put on is very important. Because the more you put on, the darker it's gonna get. Check it out.
We got the candy done. We're gonna spray our clear, and it's gonna be super sharp. Get ready for a thrill ride. Got it all clear, all done. Check that out. That right there is old school, and that's how you do it right there. There's only one way I can describe how that makes me feel. Well, it looks like somebody's ready to roll. <laughs>